Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. It's time for a range test, and this time with the Volvo C40 twin engine. That means all wheel drive, 408 horsepower, 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds, a battery pack of 75 kilowatt hours, and a WLTP range of 448 kilometers. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions, and I will do one test at 130 kilometers per hour. The conditions are optimal. At the moment, it is 22 degrees Celsius, and there's barely any wind, so it cannot be any better than this. I also did this test with the Volvo XC40, and this C40 has the same drivetrain as that Volvo XC40, and with the XC40, while doing 90 kilometers per hour, I got around 350 kilometers, and while doing 130 kilometers per hour, I got around 200 kilometers. But this car had some software updates to improve the range. Also, the conditions are better than back then. So yeah, I do expect that this car can do 400 kilometers while doing 90 kilometers per hour. And while doing 130 kilometers per hour, I do expect that this car can do 250 kilometers. I know it is a bit of a strange location to start a range test from because, well, this is not a charger. But it doesn't matter because the car is charged to 95%, so let's go. Okay, so I have been driving for almost half an hour right now and the car has used 10% state of charge. So let's do some math. One hour divided by two is half an hour. 90 kilometers per hour divided by two is 45 kilometers. But as said, I have been driving for almost half an hour and the car actually showed me that when it has used 10% state of charge, I had done 43 kilometers. So 43 times 10 to equals 100% state of charge is 430 kilometers. It looks like right now that the car can do 430 kilometers on one full battery while driving 90 kilometers per hour in these conditions. And that is very good because the WLTP range is 448 kilometers. So yeah. Not bad, I'm impressed. I thought the car could do a little bit less. It probably drops down a little, so it probably won't be 430 kilometers, but a little bit less because, well, the second half always goes faster than the first half, but we will see. It's a lovely weather, so I will keep on going and I will give you another update soon. Hello there monsters and men, ladies, people, and I can't say I have driven 25%. That is incorrect and I cannot sing. No, I said many incorrect things. <laughs> the car has used 25% and I have driven around 105 kilometers on that 25%. Calculation again. I'm not going to bother you again with the whole formula because, well, that was a little bit rubbish. Anyway, 420 kilometers, it seems right now, is the range of this car while driving. 93 kilometers an hour and that is still very good in comparison to the WLTP range because well the Volvo drivetrain is not the most efficient one in the world I am averaging 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers at the moment and there are many cars that do that better but hey it is a very nice and solid car to drive in the suspension of the C40 is a little bit too stiff, in my opinion. It can be better. The Volvo XC40 drives a bit better because of that, because the suspension is a bit more comfortable and that suits this car better than the stiffer, sporty suspension. Anyway, I will put on music, drive for another hour and well, let's roll, let's roll, let's rolling, rolling, rolling. They see me rolling, they hating. Rolling, controlling, burn, me, me. No, that's not going to be my intro for every video from now on. But I do have an update because the car has used almost 50% state of charge. And on that 50%, I have driven 2 hours and 15 minutes. No, that's not what you want to know, right? 202 kilometers so the range is still more than 400 kilometers what I expected again uh, really good Volvo really good 
compared to the WLTP range. Again, really good. That's it. <laughs> the final result, you will get that at the charger. Nice sun though. I love the long days. So I love it. Okay, so I am done with my 90 kilometers per hour test. Well, done. The battery is not empty yet. I can drive for at least another two hours if I want to, but I don't want to. So here are the results. I started this test with 95% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 41%. So that means I've used 54%. On those 54% I have driven 225.6 kilometers. Do some calculation and you can drive with this car in these conditions 418 kilometers. What are these conditions again? 22 degrees Celsius when I started the test and it is right now 18 degrees Celsius and there is still barely any wind. So the conditions are pretty perfect. The average consumption was 18.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. 418 kilometers, I think that is a good result. Yes, this car is not the most efficient car in the world, I've already said that. But compare the 418 kilometer, kilometers to the 448 kilometers WLTP range. I think it is really good. So that was it. I am going to charge up now and then it is time for the 130 kilometers per hour test. All right, the car has been charged to 80% and now it's time for the more fun test. The 130 kilometers per hour test because well, the, the range test, yes, of course they are fun to do, but driving 90 kilometers per hour for more than two hours, it gets a bit boring. It gets a bit boring. And now the most fun part of the 130 kilometers per hour test, especially with a car like this, acceleration. Yes, yes, yes. This car. Ooh. The car didn't like that truck over there. It thought I was going to crash. I won't. No worry. Anyway. 130 so let's cruise now and see how far the car can drive while doing these speeds i have to set my cruise control otherwise i will not be driving 130 kilometers an hour 133 set set and done there's one thing i don't understand at the moment and that is that i have used almost one third so that means 33 percent and i have driven 86 kilometers but my consumption is 26.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That means, oh wait, no, of course that's possible. Why I am so stupid. I was thinking, how is this possible? How can I have 90 kilowatt hours of available energy? But that's of course not the case. Never mind. Never mind, people. But again, one third, 33 percent, 86 kilometers at the moment. Do that times three and you have 260 kilometers of range while driving 130 kilometers an hour. Let's go on the highway, highway again. And 90, 100, there's a car here. Don't care because this car is blistering fast. Power up. Uh, just put it on cruise control, whatever. Okay, let's go. All right. Hi. You didn't expect that, didn't you? Well, me neither, but for some reason the audio collapsed. So here I am in my home studio giving you the results of the 130 kilometers per hour test. Luckily for me, I still have the results. Otherwise, well, you had the camera audio and that is not great. But anyway, the results. I started the test with 80% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 23%. So that means I've used 57%. On those 57% I have driven back then 157 kilometers. Do some calculation and you can do while driving 130 kilometers per hour with the Volvo C40, 275 kilometers. Yep, that is a result, 275 kilometers. The average consumption back then was 29.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That is quite thirsty, but as I have already said, the Volvo drivetrain, especially the all wheel drive is not the most efficient one in the world. So that, that was it. I hope you liked the result and if you didn't, well, 
bad luck for you because this is the result. I hope you liked the video and if you did, well, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now thank you a lot for watching and as always, do we continue?